Hello everyone, my name is Saloni and today we'll discuss a question that will be helpful to you for all physics competitive exams. And so our question says that an AC 18 cm long bicycle crank arm with the pedal at one end is attached to a 20 cm diameter sprocket. The tooth and what is a sprocket? The tooth disc around which the chain moves. So we know we'll try to make a figure of this. So we know that there is this toothed thing, spiky thing, on which we have chain moving. You know? So this is, this is what it looks like, something like this. Okay, something we have this as on which are uh, basically uh, the metal uh, wire. So you can say the, the chain basically we have these chain actually goes inside this and comes out and that actually makes our uh, cycle move. Okay, so we have this kind of figure and this is our leg on on a pedal. Okay, so we are given in this question that this length this length is eighteen centimeter and 20 centimeter diameter. So the diameter of this, this sprocket, this is 20, so this is the radius is 10 centimeter, okay. So this is our pedal. Now we are moving, we are pressing on the pedal and definitely uh, through our motion, this uh, sprocket also moves, does rotation motion and our cycle moves forward. Okay, anyways, uh, what we are given in the question is that a cyclist riding the bike increases her. So she is pedaling and initial angular velocity in, in which she was pedaling was 60 rotations per minute and finally it was 90 rotations per minute in 10 seconds. Okay, so omega naught was 60 rotations per minute and uh, when you convert it into radians per uh, second, so this will be this. So this will be 2 pi radians per second and uh, uh, this will be equal to 6.28 radians per second. Okay. And omega we are given we have given as 90 rotations per minute. So again we'll do this 90 into 2 pi divided by 60. And uh, when we'll solve this, this will come out as 9.43 radians per second. Okay. So we need to find alpha now. Okay, we need to find alpha. So we have omega naught and omega. Alpha is omega, that is angular acceleration. Now see, in this case we are given, uh, yeah, so it starts from this, went to this in 10 seconds. So alpha angular acceleration is equal to, uh, will be 9.43 minus 6.28 divided by 10. Okay, and when we'll solve this, this will come out as 3.14, 0 0.314 radians per second. So this is our angular acceleration. This is our angular acceleration. But in the question, we are asked tangential acceleration. Okay, so figure we had this, and this this was the pedal. Okay, and this is our leg. So this is the pedal. This distance was given as 18 centimeter. Now from the center. So this, so when we are moving the pedal, this thing goes like this. So this thing goes like rotation motion. Okay. The so pedal, when we push on the pedal, this is V. Okay. So we need to find this. We need to find tangential acceleration of the pedal. So from the center, on the center of this spiky sprocket, sprocket, sprocket will uh, this will calculate this r. Uh, what is this r? We know this r is 18 centimeter, which is equal to 0 0.18 meter. Now v is equal to um, uh, we don't have to find v. We need to find angular acceleration. So this is the velocity, and this is also the direction of uh, tangential acceleration, right? So tangential acceleration is equal to alpha into R, which is equal to 0 0.314 into 0 0.18. And when we will solve this, this will come out as 0 0.057 meter per 
second so this is our at which is our tangential acceleration okay so this is our first part on the second part it says what length of chain passes over the top of his pro rocket during the interval so see this is the spiky thing now it says what is the length the, uh, the chain is traveling okay chain wounds up and leaves wounds up and leaves so what is the length so we know that our rocket actually has radius uh, we calculated as 10 cm so we, if we calculate the theta if we calculate the theta then we can calculate the length which is equal to r theta so we know length is equal to r theta so what is r r is 10 divided by 100 into theta okay now theta you can calculate as omega not p plus half alpha p square so omega not omega not we know it's 6.28 radians per second so this is 6.8 Do it into time for 10 seconds. Half into alpha we calculated as uh, 0.314 into 10 square, which is 100. So all in all, when we calculate this, this will come out as 78.5 radians. Now we'll just put this value of theta here, 10 by 100 into 78.5 radians, and this will come out as the length will come out as 7.9 meters. Our second part is also solved. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel to learn more about physics.